The track on a railway, also known as the permanent way. In this video, we will dive into the terminology of rail, also known as railway track. The distance between the two tracks on any railway route, is known as railway gauge. The wooden or concrete supports for the rail tracks, are known as a sleeper, sleeper as British English, or cross tie, American English. Sleeper. It is a rectangular support for the rail tracks. It is laid perpendicular to the rails, sleepers transfer loads, to the track ballast and subgrade. Sleepers hold the rails upright, and keep them spaced to the correct gauge. Ballast. It is the name for the, stones, beneath the track. Track ballast forms the track bed upon, which railroad sleepers are laid. It is used to bear the load from the railroad ties, to facilitate drainage of water, and also to keep down vegetation, that might interfere with the track structure. The ballast also holds the track in place, as the trains roll over it, and absorb the noise. It typically consists of crushed stone. Rail fastening system. It is refers to a group of railway fasteners, that are used to fasten steel rail to railway sleeper. Fish plate. It is used to join two different rail tracks, without welding, leaving some gaps at the joining of the track, so that, when they get heated, it doesn't bend. There are four bolts, which hold up the tracks together. Let's see, there is another type of fish plate, called joggled fish plate. This is a specially designed fish plate, with convexity in the center, to accommodate weld collar at newly welded joints, to protect defective welded joints, and to carry out emergency repair of weld failures. If you want to learn more about, Railway Rail Fastening System, or Fish Plate, please check out our next video, and check out the description box. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop your learning.